Hello everyone. Uh, good day. Welcome to MPU 1052 Principle of Entrepreneurship Subject. Uh, well, this is a new subject. Uh, in fact, the subject is uh, one of the core or we call it university core subject. Okay. Uh, this subject was known as BPME 1013 Introduction to Entrepreneurship. Uh, until last semester, but this semester is going to be a uh, MPU 1052, uh, sorry, Principle of Entrepreneurship. So, make sure all of you are semester 1 student, 2 hours class, and MPU 1052, Principles of Entrepreneurship students. It's very important. Do not take a long class. Okay. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is T.S. Dr. Madhivanan Jagannathan. I'm your MPU1052 subject coordinator, not your instructor. Subject coordinator means, okay, I will arrange everything for you, but your coordinator uh, going to be a different person. So, we are lecturers. So, I will organize uh, all the uh, materials, your assignment, and your exam as well. Okay. Today, there is no big deal. Very simple. Only few matters I will discuss through this video. Please stay tuned. I think less than one hour. Okay. I think it's around 45 minutes. Okay. First of all, uh, I will discuss about online learning, how you can optimize and download necessary materials for your MPU 1052 class. Second, I will explain about biodata form. That is very important to collect your data, okay, to keep for any uh, emergency purposes. Okay, for example, when I call you or email you or to trace you if anything happened. Okay, and also we want to see the some uh, preliminary information about your previous experience in business and also your previous academic qualifications and so on. Okay. And third is WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, I think uh, by this time you will, you have joined WhatsApp group for each group. Your WhatsApp group is not going to be with me. Okay. It's with your lecturer. Okay. It will be any lecturer. Okay. And I will explain about syllabus detail one by one and followed by assignments. Okay, basically there are two assignments, assignment one and two. Okay. And also I will explain about MDEC portal. MDEC stands for Malaysian Digital Digital Economic Corporation, one of the agency to boost our digital roadmap. Okay, digital roadmap, or we call it digital economy roadmap of Malaysia. Okay, it's very important agency to support. So, MDEC will support us in terms of uh, digital marketing uh, learning platform and also to record your sales for your assignment. Okay, I will explain in, in the session when I explain about assignment. Okay, last, I will explain about the other important information, okay, uh, such as, you know, what are the trainings you could join and what are the training going to be conducted apart from the class. Definitely in this subject, we will ensure you learn uh, as much as you can. Okay, it's very important. Not only the classroom uh, environment you're going to enjoy, it's going to be beyond. For example, we will invite certain people from outside to conduct a session such as TikTok, MDAC, you know, even industry people uh, to get some insights from the experienced people. Not only the book. It's beyond the book. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, now I will explain one by one. Okay. First, online learning. So, online learning. If you go to online learning. Online learning, you, have, you can type like this. And you can go. And you can log in with your uh, portal credential information, such as username and password. Okay, you can access. 
or what you can do is you can go to the UEM portal. Those who are not familiar, you can go to portal UEM. Just type like this. You can get access. So my my portal is a lecturer's portal, slightly different compared to student portal. Okay, you log in. Okay, and go to UEM online learning like this. Okay, then go to UEM online learning. What you will get? Okay, I hope all of your lecturers already update uh, important and pertinent information for this semester. Okay, for example, let's say my class is group E. Okay, I go here. So, so when you go when you go to the online learning, it's going to be like this. Okay, each subject you will have a different online learning platform. It's not going to be combined. Huh? Do not go and search about the economic subject notes in the, you know, MPU 1052. You're not going to get each subject different uh, online learning platform. Okay, it's mean online learning uh, blocks. We call it blocks. Okay, it's not a platform, it's a block. Each subject different blocks. Okay, so definitely you will see, okay, something like this, my class. So I asked them to join my WhatsApp group and also fill up my data form. And also, I have updated the syllabus, student syllabus. And also, I updated assignment 1, business plan, assignment 2, online business. Okay. And update the chapter 1 notes. So, this is basically about online learning platform, UEM online learning. So, you will get all the materials from here. Okay. You are not going to get the material. Don't ask your lecturers. Please send the assignment or notes through WhatsApp. No, there is no such a way. So everything will be uh, standardized and centralized. Okay. So it's going to be in online learning only. Okay. So back to this issue, another one, uh, join WhatsApp group. So what you can do is you have to join your WhatsApp group. Uh, it depends on the lecturers. Sometimes some lecturers, okay, your instructor may share the link in the classroom. Okay. My class, I will share through uh, online learning so you can join for example my class is a231 mpu 1052 so they will join join chat that's it first second is you have to fill up the biodata form as well okay 231 uh, biodata form so your name okay email address social media address okay and so on you have to fill up and choose your Correct group. Okay. So just answer the question. It's not a quiz. It's not a quiz. It's just a biodata form to get some preliminary information about you and your experience as well as your academic qualifications. Okay. Okay. So now we go to... Uh, Syllabus. So where you can download the syllabus? You can download syllabus from here. You can download the syllabus. Okay. Uh, but let me show to you the syllabus. I think by this time you already uh, uh, received your syllabus. Let me explain one by one. Okay. This is your syllabus. Okay. <coughs> Principles of Entrepreneurship, MPU 1052. This subject basically uh, created, and it's a compulsory subject, to end culture. The student involved in the small business. Okay, at least they learn something uh, about business, how the business can be start and how it can be operated. Okay, and what are the challenges, uh, hurdles, and also what are the risks involved in the business. So by learning this subject, so you will understand some uh, important insights or info about the entrepreneurship. Okay, entrepreneurship is a business. Okay, from A to Z. Okay, that's what, therefore this subject, okay, this course emphasizes the fostering entrepreneurial culture. 
among the students so that they can embrace entrepreneurial values in everyday life. Basically, uh, by default, we are an entrepreneur, but we are not making sales, but we are an entrepreneur. For example, we keep on doing something, we put a lot of effort, we are very creative, innovative, we are basically entrepreneurs, but we are not doing business. Okay? But when you are doing business, you are so-called commercial entrepreneurs. Okay. Students will be exposed to the basic entrepreneurship in terms of history. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of notes, concepts and theories, self-development skills and behavior okay, in this subject. And the students are also exposed to the development of creative and innovative skills. Uh, this one through assignment as well as business startup process. This course will expose students to several methods of starting a business. So you can start a business by using various method sometimes you can take over the uh, your father business sometimes you can continue your father business sometimes you are helping your father business sometimes you start your own business sometimes you become a business partner with your friends your brother sister and so on so various methods as well okay and another method is whether you start partnership okay sole proprietorship or company is depend on you so Throughout the semester, you will learn all of these aspects. Okay. What are the course learning outcome? Okay, the course learning outcome is you are able to explain, okay, explain, demonstrate, and propose. For the explain, you will understand a lot of theories, concepts, and so on. Demonstrate, it's more to online business, your assignment, uh, one of the assignment, digital business assignment, and propose is your business plan. You have to propose a business plan. Okay, I will explain detail about your assignment in the next session okay after i explain about syllabus okay so what are the takeaways from this class it's mean transferable skills first of all knowledge and understanding you will get a lot of knowledge about this uh, entrepreneurship business and so on second is digital skill because by doing the assignment you will learn something new which is a digital skill and also entrepreneurial skills. Okay, entrepreneurial skill through uh, preparing the business plan. Okay, uh, so your teaching method is mean our class. Okay, going to be uh, in a different mode. Some of the your topics will be conducted through physical classes. Some through online learning, either uh, signalers or as signalers. Signalers mean. Uh, your class will be conducted through Webex, Google Meet, and so on. Live class. As signatures mean, sometimes lecturers record the session and will upload in the online learning. So you can watch. Or sometimes you can do some activities. By doing that activities, you learn about that topic. Uh, these are the things. So these are going to be your, I mean, going to be teaching method in this subject. Okay, MPU 1052. Okay, let us see one by one topic. Okay, there are seven topics only. Okay, only seven topics. Okay. Okay, first of first topic is uh, introduction to entrepreneurship. In this topic, you are going to learn. Okay, most important thing is concept of entrepreneurship, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial ethics. And also, you are going to learn about the difference between entrepreneurs, businessmen, and also managers. So, these are the main things you are going to learn in first chapter. Okay. Second chapter is assessing the business environment. Uh, this is about how you can assess the current business environment. Whether it's really supportive or not supportive. Sometimes, the business environment, political, economy, technology, okay, social culture are not really supportive okay so you have to assess all of that and also internal issues for example your capital uh, your competition and so on so you're going to learn about that one in second chapter and also you will learn about how to recognize the opportunity okay how to recognize the opportunity okay and the third topic is creativity and entrepreneurship okay creativity and entrepreneurship okay 
this topic is very interesting topic you are going to learn about uh, creativity and innovation concepts and also how you can generate the ideas creative ideas and innovative ideas uh, you you can learn through this topic and what are the sources of innovation okay and the fourth topic is business uh, sorry digital entrepreneurship uh, this topic is linked to your assignment which is assignment 2 okay so you are going to learn about digital entrepreneurship you are going to learn about the digital platforms what is digital environment if you look at right now everything is online now with the ai tools you can do a lot of wonders okay that's why digital entrepreneurship is one of the key element in the business so that is one of the topic okay and fifth topic is a business plan okay fifth topic is a business plan okay business plan this is your first assignment okay i will explain later so in this assignment you are going to learn about business model on canvas which is bmc followed by a uh, type of business plan and also who should prepare the business plan how to develop a business plan you are going to learn about that okay okay and uh, sixth topic is okay business startup and financing in this topic you are going to learn about how to start business and what are the factors you need to consider when you start a business and also what are the factors you need to consider when you already start a business it means you already embark on the business okay what are the things you have to consider and you are going to learn about uh, financing how you can obtain the startup capital what are the methods what are the you know uh, relevant agencies available okay uh, which you can get the support okay but it's not easy to approach them Okay, for example, in Malaysia, we have a Takun, uh, you know, AIM, and so on. So, you're going to learn about that in this topic. And the last topic is seventh topic. This topic is a combination of the several topics. Okay, combination of the several topics. You're going to learn about small and medium enterprises, SMEs. Okay, how it's operate. And what are the definitions of small and medium enterprises? Second, you are going to learn about global market. Global market means how you can expand your business to the global level. Okay, to the global. It means uh, how you want to make sure your product or service available at other country. For example, you are a market, uh, you, you are a Malaysian entrepreneur. How you want to ensure your product is available? U.S okay us or uk or thailand or india anywhere okay and last one is social entrepreneurship this one okay social entrepreneurship this one okay social entrepreneurship is about okay this one social entrepreneurship okay there are three topics here eh? social entrepreneurship global market and also small and medium enterprises three topics together okay after global market you're going to learn about social entrepreneurship social entrepreneurship means by doing business you are solving as uh, social problems it can be any problem like a poverty okay less education and so on okay uh, you can solve the problem through social entrepreneurship approach you are going to learn about that one as well okay so basically only seven syllabus, seven uh, topics for these subjects okay for this subject okay what are the things you have to do for the subjects only three things okay first is your assignment business plan which is clo3 cost learning outcome 3 you have to propose as i told you right propose 
propose a business plan. It will carry 30 marks. Okay. And followed by another assignment, which is your online business. Okay, online business, this one. Okay. I repeat again. First assignment is your business plan. It's a group assignment and 30 marks. And another assignment is group assignment as well, online business, 30 marks. So your carry mark going to be 60 percentage. And finally, you have to sit for the final exam. Your final exam going to be MCQ. The mode of the exam is multiple choice question. 100 questions, do, uh, I mean the dual language, it's mean English and Malay, from chapter 1 to chapter 7. Okay, let me repeat again, your final exam, okay, your final exam, going to be this one, okay, going to be 100 question, objective, okay, objective questions, A, B, C, D, Dewey language is mean in English and also in Malay, both language. So if you can't understand English, so you can uh, read in Malay. So because at least you can understand the terms. Okay. Okay. Again, eh? exam. Okay. Hundred MCQ. Okay. Sorry, MCQ. Or we call it objective questions. Okay. Chapter 1 to 7. It's mean comprehensive exam. All chapters will be examined. Okay. Okay. Is going to be comprehensive exam. Okay. Exam. Final exam. Okay. Again. Eh? Final exam. 100 MCQ. Objective question. Eh? Multiple choice question. Chapter 1 to 7. Okay. What about the books? What book you are going to use? Okay. You are going to use... This book, okay, uh, Asas Kausavanan, Theory, Practice, and Contemporary. Okay, in that book, uh, there are several topics. Some topics you are not going to uh, use for this subject. So, because the topics are really assorted, combined. Okay, so you have to focus on certain topics only. Okay, but most of the topics you have to focus. Uh, so, the order of the chapter is slightly different compared to the syllabus. Never mind. That one your lecturers will explain. Uh, but uh, uh, that book is available. I think uh, now it's already available. Your lecturers, your lecturer will uh, inform you time to time. Okay. What about English version? Okay. We, we will provide the English notes. Okay. So, and also I try to provide the English uh, materials. Maybe you can read the uh, this book, but it's not going to 100% uh, support you. Okay, and also this book, Robert is rich. But uh, I try to provide uh, comprehensive slides as well. Okay, to make yourself easy. But don't worry, your class will be in English uh, and subject to the lecturers. Some classes will be in Malay, some classes will be in English. Okay. Okay, that is about uh, syllabus. Let us go to the Assignment. Okay, one by one. Okay. Assignment one, clear cut. It's about business plan. Okay. So, you have to do a business plan. Okay, assignment one, business plan and business model canvas. So, what you have to do is, okay, 
So primary objective of this assignment, okay? The primary aim of this assignment is to educate students about the significant and role of the business plan. After completing this task, students will be capable of recognizing, detailing, and evaluating business opportunity or an existing business. Okay. So this evalu evaluation, okay, will encompasses technical, economy, and financial feasibility. Okay. So it means you are going to analyze, uh, you know, and prepare a business plan which is very comprehensive. Okay. So what is business plan? I think you know about business plan. Okay. Business plan is a comprehensive document that outlines the strategy, objective, and operational detail of a business venture. It serves as a roadmap for entrepreneurs and business owners, providing a structured framework to guide their business activities and decision making. That is the first part of the business plan. Okay. And what is business model canvas? Business model canvas actually developed by the Alexander Osterwalder and Yves Pigner. So it's about a like a framework okay, with the nine components explained by using just a single piece of image. By looking at that, you can understand what is your business. Okay. And what you have to do for the business plan. Okay. So students are required okay, to prepare a business plan and a business model. Two components. You have to complete both. Okay. You may refer to the some available business plan. There are a lot of business plans available uh, on the internet. You can take it as an example. Don't copy and paste. Because your lecturers will check your assignment by using turn it in. Turn it in is a plagiarism detector. Okay. So, in order to prepare your business plan and business model, I have attached Okay, attach template. You can fill up the template and fill up the contents and you can use the template completely. Okay, it's a comprehensive template. Okay, once you click, it will go to the template. You can download the template from here. Just download. Actually, this is my website, so you can download from my website. Okay. Okay. So you can open the template. So just refer the template and just do it accordingly. So when you open your template, okay, what you do is, what you have to do is, you go to the view and activate your navigation pane, okay, and, okay, navigation pane, click, ah, then you can see, ah, you can scroll down, so you have to include your details, business plan, what is your business name, logo and so on, startup business idea by your group, okay, this one. Okay, then table of contents is here. You see, you have to follow one by one. Okay, so there are 10 components. So you can click straight away. Executive summary. Okay, let's say you are preparing. Uh, okay, list of abbreviation, abbreviation, executive summary, business description. Everything is detailed until 10, okay, until 11, conclusion and appendices. If let's say, okay, you want to put something here, okay, just type, okay, just type over here, type, 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 it's going to be very 
standardized assignment. For example, let's say I type like this. See, I just generate the content. Eh? Okay. So your assignment going to be like this. Uh, you just fill up like this. But don't fill up like myself. This is just an example. Okay. You have to type. Okay. You have to type your idea. It's going to be like this. Very nice. Justify. And, and you have to prepare for each and every uh, component. Okay. Each and every component. Uh, like this. So, uh, it's going to be like this. Your assignment. So, once you click, uh, you can go. Uh, customer segment. Uh, then, I can read like this okay customer value i can see so this is a template that you can use you can download from my website okay let us go to the what you have to do for the assignment so you have to follow all of this okay instructions okay the written assignment okay 8 to 10 members in a group 8 to 10 members in a group okay the selection of group must be from within the same group. It's mean what? If you are MPU 1052 group E student, only in the group E. Don't go and find out from group B. Another class student cannot. Okay? Only within the group. You don't say, oh, my friend also taking that subject in other class. We can combine. Cannot. Eh? It's not possible. Okay. And you have to submit, okay, your group member's name to your respective lecturers. Normally online learning. Okay, normally online learning, your lecturers will get get the name of your group and also their members. Okay, for the record purposes. Okay, each group must submit a complete assignment by week nine. Remember, and exclude midterm break. Week nine, uh, depend on your lecturer. Maybe Sunday or maybe during the class or maybe end of the week is depend. But week nine, you have to complete everything. Okay. Specification of the assignment. Ah, you just read this one. Aerial 1.5 spacing. And it's subject to the lecturer. If let's say your lecturer required you to prepare a different method, different guide uh, specification, you can go. And your assignment, you can prepare report Malay or English. You can use, but don't mix language. First, 2.1 Malay, 2.2 in English, I cannot. If Malay mean Malay, consistent. If English mean English, consistent. Okay. And assignment should not below than 30 pages. Should not below than 30 pages. Okay. How your assignment supposed to, your assignment looks like. Okay. First, you have to include the cover page. Second, you have to include entrepreneurial skill rubric where is it you can scroll down your assignment you can see here ah, this is okay you have to include this one okay appendix one okay second is your checklist you have to fulfill the checklist what is checklist if you can scroll down, you can see the checklist. Okay. You put the checklist and tick. Okay. I have done executive summary. I have done business description. I have done marketing analysis. I have done this. I have done this. I have done this. Use just tick, tick. It means it's a self-declaration. If you don't tick, it means no marks. Okay. Ah, that's a thing. And table of contents. Our table of content is already available in your uh, template and also your report your write-ups and appendix and references so these are the uh, coordination or order of the assignment okay the rest you can read okay you cannot submit late uh, if you want to submit well, let's say you want to submit week 10 it's subject to the lecturers okay your instructor and please read the plagiarism do not plagiarize your assignment okay do not plagiarize your assignment okay and don't say sir i don't copy from anywhere sir i just copy from the ai tools cannot 
Okay, that's why I put guideline for the AI tools. Nowadays, we have a lot of AI tools like a chat GPT and so on. Uh, you can use, but you can get idea right up from you and do not get trapped. Plagiarism. Okay. Okay, you can read this one. AI selection, okay, transparency, all of this you can read. Nothing. Okay, what are the things? Do and don'ts in in the assignment. Okay, you just read all of this. Okay, very long one, read. Okay. And also, you read the fieldwork clause. Suddenly, uh, for your assignment, you want to interview someone. Please follow the guideline. You cannot simply go for out out of EUM, if anything happens, it's going to be a problem. So you have to follow this guideline. If you want to go outside to interview anyone, but for this assignment, there is no interview. You don't need to do interview. In case you want to see someone to get idea, uh, you can go, but be careful. Okay, so you have to follow this guideline. Okay, good. So this is appendix one and appendix Okay, for uh, you know, for your information, nowadays we have a lot of online tools to prepare a business plan. Not business plan, just type for you. Actually, it can be a guidance for you. Okay, there are a lot of softwares. Maybe you can optimize the software as well. Life plan. Okay, but you have to buy the software. Uh, this is just an additional knowledge. If you want to use, uh, you can develop your own business plan by using the software. Idea is yours, but it will prepare for you the write-ups and so on. You can use also, no problem. Okay, I encourage in my class, but before you use, you ask your lecturer whether you can use or not. Because when you work, when you complete your study, most of the companies using this type of softwares and also tools to prepare their business plan. So you can use also, no problem. But subject to your lecturer. Okay. Okay, uh, if you use, please get the permission from your lecturer. Do not simply use. Okay. For example, you go to your madam, your doctor. Uh, you just ask, madam, I I found one life plan. Okay, software is like uh, you know, uh, sorry, business plan software, not life plan. The software name is a life plan. I found a business plan software which is the name is uh, life plan. Can I use? Okay, if your lecturer give you permission, you may use. If not, don't use. This is just an additional information for you. Okay. Okay, now followed by the second assignment. This assignment is going to be big challenging. Okay. Uh, again, the class. Uh, your business plan, it can be anything. Okay any product any service you want to offer and your business second second assignment which is online business not necessarily same as your first business plan it's not a continuity okay it's not a continuity for example your business plan you want to sell a uh, curry pub you want to sell curry pub for your business plan but in for your online business not necessarily you have to go for the curry pub you can use other business. Your business plan can be anything because you want to go for the big business. But online business, you cannot go for the big business because only three months period. So you can choose any product. Okay? For the second assignment. So, again, your online business is not a continuity from your first assignment. It can be any. Okay? Your online business is online business. Business, your business plan is a business plan. Two different things. Okay. Uh, okay, let us see your online business. Online business assignment is a visual assignment. You are not required to write a lot about your business. Maybe you will write about, you know, just your product and product description, your business description the rest is all pictures okay all pictures okay i will show this example okay so objective of the assignment is 
the over okay the overarching goal of this assignment is to provide the student through grasp of the vital role played by online business in today's digital landscape by the completion of this assignment the our student possesses the knowledge and skill necessary to the to effectively establish and manage online enterprises through diverse channel so diverse channel mean for this assignment you are going to use the only social media not a cross border platform like a shopee or ebay or whatever is it no you only use social media for the promotion purposes okay so the basic understanding is theoretical foundation of online business and also equipping student with the practical competencies you learn theory and also you practice okay so this is okay as outline again eh? uh, this assignment mandate student to undertake the practical execution of their business idea transforming them into fully functional online business uh, that is the ultimate objective your idea want to do business but you have to perform your business or uh, transforming into online business not complicated very simple social media only you have to do promotion by using several methods okay several approaches as well okay first of all task 1 okay students are required to sell any product through social media platform what is social media platform okay social media platform it's it can be a uh, facebook instagram tiktok youtube whatever is it okay youtube is just a video sharing platform okay the most important is social media tiktok and so on you can sell anything that product is not from you it you can be a reseller you get from someone okay and you are selling that product for example you get the product from um uh, one person you are, you want to sell the shoe you are not a shoe manufacturer but you get from your friend and you promote in social media and you get the sales someone order from you and you do transaction for example you promote in tiktok and someone order through tiktok now you can order product through tiktok as well okay if not you have to use the facebook okay facebook you do promotion teaser and so on so you can do but the most important is the facebook okay tiktok is a video content okay you can use not only one you can use two platform for example facebook and tiktok uh facebook and carousel whatever is it as long as you can sell through online social media platforms okay uh, so for example this one facebook you can use the you know facebook business page or facebook marketplace or you can use the instagram you can use the tiktok content linkedin also you can use twitter whatever platform that you feel convenient for you and also you can use whatsapp business okay whatsapp not normal whatsapp whatsapp business also messenger platform is actually more or less like a social media you can share okay you can use multiple platform to make a sales okay the most important is you have to prove that you have done a social media based online business okay social media marketing okay that is most important so you just read all of this 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 is just an explanation okay remember third clause is student must promote and okay student must promote this one okay you must promote and generate product sales through social media platform by employing various promotional technique remember you have a big group 8 to 10 members you can do wonders okay make sure you have a teaser soft sell art sell any any other applicable method okay and also children are to be advised to optimize relevant social media advertising tools any tools okay and you have to prove okay uh, by getting likes followers post engagement and so on okay that is first task social media after that you have to prepare a simple website that we can see what are you selling that website is not to sell the product it's just for the 
showcase your product. Just put a product, okay, your information of the product. Uh, then you can uh, put information about like uh, contact information and so on. Okay. So just follow. You can use various platform like a Google site, Wix, Bibli, Jimdo and other sim similar tools. Okay. Okay. So you just read this one and additional info. No worries. Maybe you have no idea how to do Facebook business page and so on. Uh, myself, I try to bring in people to I mean, bring in people like a MDAC. Okay. Okay. I will bring in MDAC. Uh, for the purpose of you record your sales in the MDAC portal. There is an MDAC portal, you know, you have to record your sales. Okay. How to record your sales? I will explain later. Okay. And also, uh, this, this portal, eh? you have to record your sales. Okay, wait. Eh? Okay. First of all, once you make a sales, okay, you have to go to LMS GoCommerce. This one. Okay. You have to go to portal. Don't worry. I will bring in uh, bring in MDAC person. Okay, MDAC representative to explain about MDAC e USA one portal. We call it LMS Go Commerce portal. From here, you will learn a lot of things. You know, for example, let me access uh, my old student. Uh, portal. I don't know whether I can access or not. I try. Okay. Okay, one of the example. Before that, you have to go to the app commerce and you have to register. How to register? Uh, MDAC representative will update about this one. No worries about that. Okay. So, you have to go here. Okay. How does it look like actually? Okay. So you have to register one by one. Okay. This is a very simple process. This looks it's similar to register a Facebook business, sorry, Facebook page or register an email. Okay, not a big deal. Okay. So that is one of the important things. Okay. First of all, make sure. You have an idea of what you want to sell. And second, you choose the platform. Okay. TikTok, Facebook, and so on. Set. Followed by, you have to prepare a simple website. Okay. Then you have to record the sales. Uh, that one, as I told you, MDAC. Okay. Will give you the idea. Okay, I skip this one. Okay, so once you attend the session, uh, then you know. Okay, apart from that, okay, I try to uh, bring in uh, some instructors, including myself. I will teach some platform as well. I will teach you how to do website so you can join. Okay, you can join. I will teach. Okay. In fact, I will conduct the session for the TikTok and so on. Okay, you can join also. Not only my class, any anyone can join. Okay. Okay. So, what you have to do for your assignment? It's very simple. So as I told you, you have to choose a product, you have to choose a platform, and you have to run a business, social media, okay? And you have to record the sales in MDAC. How to record? Uh, there will be a special session for, for that, uh, recording a sales and so on, okay? 
Okay, so in your assignment, what you have to do is only print screen. You no need to, you know, type your assignment. A lot of, you know, like a paragraph by paragraph. No, just start with your product description, your business little bit, and you start to put your social media. Let's say you're using a Facebook. So you have to put your social media business page, your promotion, okay, all the print screens, okay, all the print screens you have to uh, include, okay, uh, such as sign up account, promotion process, selling process, close deal, if you communicate with your customer, everything, each and every single uh, communication processes, transaction, you have to print screen and put it, only picture with the caption, just type. Okay, caption. One picture, caption. Okay, money transaction from customer one. Ah, something like that. Okay. For that purpose, you have to come up with the promotion, teaser, soft sell, and hard sell, and social media marketplace. As I told you, you have to prepare teaser, soft sell, and hard sell. Ah, this one, you can go and learn what is this. In uh, MDAC portal, there are a lot of notes over there. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be like this, okay? And you have to include the business insights, page likes, post reach, post engagement, page view, and so on, okay? So I will include the sample assignment, okay, in the YouTube link. Please download, okay? You can download from the bottom, okay? And you have to record the sales with the evidence offline and online. Okay, in the MDAC portal. Okay, in your group assignment, you're going, you know, there will be a 8 to 10 members. So, in the case of 8 to 10 members, if let's say you make sales 100, so you have to divide the sales. Okay, you have to divide the sales. Okay, you have to divide the sales. Okay, 100 divided by 10 members. So, 10 ringgit, 10 ringgit, 10 ringgit. And it's subject to your agreement. If let's say you don't want to give 10 ringgit, you want to take 50 ringgit, another person 5 ringgit, no problem. But every one of you mandated compulsory register MDAC portal and record the sales. Divide the sales and record it because your business is a partnership business, not a sole proprietorship business. You are running a business like a partner. So you have to divide your sales and record your sales in the MDAC portal. Okay, and also you have to uh, include your URL links, your social media website in the front page of the assignment. Okay, and other relevant information on online business. Okay, the rule number one is no long paragraphs, only about description of the product and also company. Rule number two, print screen every single steps that you have go through in your setup of your online business and also transaction okay and also your posters and so on okay and this assignment you have to submit by week 13 okay be worked at week 13 excluding midterm break okay as i told you all of you Again, need to register LMS Go Commerce. Okay, MDEC portal. No worries, I will include user guideline. Okay, user guideline section so you can follow that. Okay, so you can go here. Okay. For example, eh, if you go here, myself, okay, what is online learning portal? Okay, this one, eh? uh, you have to record the sales over here. So once you go in, it's going to be like this. What is MDEC representative, okay, the person from MDEC will conduct a special session, but uh, I think got some problem they cannot go in okay okay so once you log in eh, 
Uh, you will get track your business and online. For example, I report my sales. Uh, I just, uh, okay, like myself. Okay, I can put online or offline sales when I did my sales. Okay, amount. Uh, this is a sales, 20 ringgit, description, and expenses. Maybe you buy the product for 15 ringgit. So, uh, you put there, submit, submit. Okay, and you can generate the report uh, weekly or monthly. It's up to you. Okay, so you can play around with this button. But before that, you have to update your uh, my profile. Okay, two profile. One is about you. One is about the business. Uh, I think it, this one will be explained by the MDEC person. Okay, and also you can click the my learning. Ah, uh, over here you can learn about the soft sell, hard sell, everything. There are a lot of notes here. Okay, you can uh, read. Online learning notes. Okay, for example, if let's say you want to learn about uh, Facebook, you click Facebook, then you can get the notes. And once you complete the course, or you are even you are not complete, partially completed, okay, you will you can get the certificate from MDEC. Okay, you can get certificate from MDEC. But your lecturers will approve that certificate. No worries. In the end of the semester, I will make sure you get the certificate. Okay. Okay. Okay, followed by the assignment. So I think uh, what you have to do, done. And what are the specifications? Okay. Okay, just hold on. Okay. Okay, I think I have explained to you 8 to 10 members. Okay. Again, and your assignment is a visual assignment. It's not a written assignment. It's a visual assignment. Okay. And you have to follow all the print screen processes. And I will include a sample assignment. That is sample only. You can do better than that assignment. Okay. And MDAC. Uh, this is group assignment specification. Okay, assignment specification. So, not less than 20 pages. Your assignment. You can do it in Malay or English. Okay, but you are not going to write a lot. Only little. Okay, and just follow this guideline. And your assignment should include cover page. Followed by digital skill rubric for group assignment. Okay, uh, you have to refer to appendix 1. Uh, this one just include after your front page you have to include this one because your lecturers will mark your assignment based on this okay this is the evaluation form okay and followed by appendix 2 checklist uh, checklist is very important you are doing you are going to do some self declaration uh, you must create a social media page at least two Okay. Uh, for example, TikTok, maybe uh, out of 10, you have to do uh, TikTok by using one handphone only. Okay. But it's up to you how you want to arrange. Okay. Facebook business page, no problem. You can do and you can assign your friend. Okay. And you have to include promotional teaser, copywriting, soft sell, hard sell, sales transaction. If let's say you make a sales, you have to include. Okay, print screen. You have to tick one by one. Website. Okay, MDAC portal. You have to register. Register and record the sales. If no sales, you have to justify. Okay, and sales record in MDAC portal. Okay, create and record. Okay, very important. So, your assignment should include all of that print screen. You have to include the print screen of MDAC also. MDAC portal. Okay. And followed by appendix. Okay. So the rest is just a late penalty clause. This one you can read. Plagiarism. You cannot do plagiarism. As I told you in the chapter. Sorry. In the assignment one. Okay. You have to follow the guideline of the AI tools. 
you cannot simply copy but this assignment is more to the picture uh, so not easy to copy the pictures okay okay so i think that's it okay apart from this okay i just want to stress few important things first of all please stay tuned and get the notes from online learning okay online learning don't forget online learning is a very important thing okay and don't forget your whatsapp group your by data okay assignment very clear okay if anything or if if you confuse you may ask your lecturers uh, they will explain further and also assignment submit on time okay and subject to the lecturers and do not forget about the mdac portal that is very very crucial very important uh, to record your sales okay and apart from that i just want to uh, let you know i will conduct a session bring tiktok people or some instructor to conduct the online classes such as you know teaching facebook ai tools and so on so i will invite through your lecturers you may join okay please feel free to join the session okay i hope i have explained detail everything okay let me reiterate my points okay you are going to uh enjoy the entire semester with only four components okay your classroom you go and learn teaching and learning and second is your assignment one which is your business plan and followed by your assignment two which is your online business and your assignment one and assignment two may not be same not necessarily same assignment your business plan is your business plan your online business is online business okay you can do any okay and fourth one is your final exam 100 mcq or objective questions okay and consist of seven chapters comprehensive exam okay so only for components okay these are four components of these subjects Okay, thank you very much. Hope all of you will enjoy uh, MPU one zero five two Introduction to Entrepreneurship Plus. Enjoy. Okay, stay tuned and don't stop learn new things. Thank you very much.